Hello, welcome to Perot Show. Today we're taking you on a short trip to Portlish. St. Patrick's Day celebration in Portlish will never be the same again. Not after the Igbo cultural troupe stormed the parade and turned it into a carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, please relax and enjoy the exciting moment of the celebration. My name is Peter Oginan. I'm here with Jack Nolan, the chairman of Portlich St. Patrick's Day Parade. You're welcome, Jack. Thank you. Tell us, for the benefit of those who don't actually know what St. Patrick means, what is St. Patrick and why the need for the celebration? Well, it's a national day of celebration. Uh, St. Patrick came to Ireland and uh, brought Christianity to it back in, I think, about the 4th century. And uh, we've celebrated it ever since that particular day. But it just got bigger and bigger. And now it's a celebration of all things Irishness. And uh, it's celebrated all over the world. I mean, New York, massive parades, Washington. And uh, here in Ireland, we particularly take great pride in it. But I suppose it has changed over the past couple of years because uh, where it was a totally Irish event and totally all the Irish people in it, we now have such a diverse culture here that we have people from all over the world and it now has become a truly multicultural event. And if here in Port East today we have people from all over Africa, all over Eastern Europe and uh, you know it's just a marvellous day and we want the people who come to live in Ireland, who come to live in Port East to join with us and they have today. Uh, we have great colour, we have great pageantry from all over the world and that's what we want. We want more of it about the build on it for years to come. Uh, this is a fife and drum band all the way from County Derry, the Spirit of Freedom fife and drum, traditional Republican band, and they travel a 400 mile uh, round trip to the import East today, uh, taking part in the parade for the very first time. In fact, they're taking part in the first ever St. Patrick's Day parade, and they bring a great colour and fife and a great sound to the town. Part of the parade or lighting up. This is the Gwail School from Port Leash. It's a traditional Irish school, all subjects taught through Irish. And crowds are course lighting the route, waiting for the parade to start. The local civil defence uh, man. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Shanaho Band. Shanaho National School Band. Beautiful colour, uh, playing tin whistles and accordion. Big crowds down along the main street. Can't wait for the parade to start. Young children, parents, old people. Some people dressed in uh, custom animals, of course, as well. And all of the young ones delighted to be out for the day. This is the Special Olympics Club, and of course, Special Olympics were held in Ireland a few years ago, and uh, this group doing marvellous work for. Uh, Young people with disabilities. And they also bring great colour, great excitement to the parade. We have many old cars, old veteran cars, vintage cars. People take great pride in them. This one is about 40 years old, and the one behind it is much older. Huge cars all along the route. Little caravans and cattle, of course, here from the Evo tribe, the Evo community in Ireland. Red colour with our masquerades, just getting ready to take part in the parade. Say now you're getting warmed up for it. What colour, what sound, and what excitement, and children. A couple of minutes before they get underway. There we have uh, a group from Durham, which is about 10 miles from Port East, to celebrate their 300th anniversary in the town. And they're here today with an 18th century wedding carriage, and all of the guests will be at the wedding about 200 years ago. Their celebration will last right throughout the year. This is Kilbahan Horse Town Caravan, they have a pet farm as well, four lovely white horses. Entertainment. Well, Afro Caribbean restaurant is the best, and it's um, I find it very relaxing. It is a very nice place, yeah. and I love the food. Hi, I come here every weekend, and it's great. Anytime I come here, I, I feel at home with the Enkwabi. 
a day soon I can back. Come in and enjoy yourself. Mm. It's the right place to be. See you. Hello, girls. Are you a Nigerian? Do you have what it takes to be Miss Nigerian Island 2008? Paradise Entertainment presents Miss Nigerian Island 2008. And for more information, you can log on to the website www.missnigeria.ie. It could be me. It could be me. It could be you. It could be you. Or so me. See you there. So see you there. Yeah. African Queen. The Evo community. Yeah. Here we have the mayor of Port Isha, TB Adabari, the first black mayor ever in Ireland. And here to meet his uh, Nigerian comrades today from the Ibo community. Delighted to welcome them to Port Leash. Delighted to have them here. They normally take part in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, but this year with uh, Rotimi, the our Lord Mayor in Port Leash, and uh, what an occasion and what a year that has been for him. And here to honour him today and bring all our colour and excitement to the town. And delighted to meet them all, of course, he is. Rotimi has been a huge part in Port Leash since he came here a number of years ago and elected. Uh, just back four years ago to Port Leash Town Council along with the mayorship this year and has carried out a job with great dignity and uh, great colour and great enthusiasm as well. Uh, Port Leash Tiny Towns Group, a group of ladies and gentlemen who keep Port Leash with well all year, planting flowers and uh, a great green team for the parade today. Followed by the Timber Hall of Riska Karate Club. Great to have all of the young people out taking part in the parade and young people love and the other young people love just watching the march show. This is the colour of the Ebuck Royalty. Masquerading. And we even have a couple of little telly tubbies on the television, so we've uh, certainly a good mixture of cultures here. Getting ready now, the parade just starting. A couple of uh, large leprechauns from Ireland. Waving them on the telly tubbies as well. Day. Um, that is just to get close with people in Ireland and just like join yourself. Oh, enjoy yourself. Yeah. You know, okay, that's great. And have you been participating in parties Day or, or is this your first time? No, I've been doing it um, uh, a, kind of a lot of times. Okay, do you do something about parties Day in school? Yeah, we did one for our school and for the GAA club. Oh, for the GAA club? Yeah. Okay, that's why we are so used to yeah. um, the parties, the St. Patrick's uh, celebration. Yeah. Okay, that's great. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Yeah. Really, the highlight of uh, this year's St. Patrick's Day parade the, has to be the participation of uh, the Evo community. Great to see uh, all of the people who have yeah. come to live in Port Leach over the past couple of years coming out today as well. Uh, many of the e bucks will be coming from Dublin, but it's beautiful who are living in Port Leach as well. And they like to support our friends and colleagues for the Port Leach. Really is a town of great welcome, has welcomed uh, communities from all over the world over the past number of years and great changing times. With the older people, delighted to have them here. There we have Sergeant Tom Walton in front, and he's a member of the parade committee as well. Cameras out taking a snapshot of the occasion. Great colour with the masquerade. We have these children and people who are living in Port East, working in Port East, and being welcomed by the Port East community and play a great part in it. The parade is starting, of course, uh, at centre point on the Mount Rath Road in Port East, uh, now moving down the James Fulton Lawler Avenue, which is right in the centre of the shopping area of the town. People lining the routes all around, most of them packed into the main streets. 